I know it's like the one dude that, uh, did it. Eggman, bruh. Hopefully you don't fumble, Radical. So this is Sonic over to 95. All right, so here's Sunrise Gate Zone, Act 1. Since this fan game is actually a prequel to Sonic 1, a fan-made prequel to Sonic 1, the intent of this fan game is actually to replicate the, uh, make it feel like a classic game came out on the Sega Saturn, which is very Saturn influenced too. Like, in the, like, once you start the game up, you get a nice little Saturn intro. Which I never owned a Saturn as a kid. I mean, I wasn't born, but also here too, you can, like, uh, Go on top of here and just like look over here, just nice. And I also use like a lot of like you know scrap concepts from Sonic One, like having like the bunny uh, character and Eggman in his uh, pajamas. So that's pretty cool. Now in mechanic they have two actually. Is, um, there's the link system. So up on an enemy right here, and you get like a nice little link right here. The more you do, the more uh, your link goes up. The other thing too actually is that like you can go up here. Okay, this is a pretty like unique looking fan game actually visually stunning and i think christmas island is like a uh the home of green hill in the first sonic game i think i think you have the spin dash here no drop dash though so unfortunate but i mean spin dash is good enough okay over here nice yeah we cooking over here the link system is pretty unique actually too it actually stands out a lot from the other sonic uh 2d fan games so, like it's really cool and I think too that this fan game was made in production for a long time actually. They actually uh, went back to development though and... Bunny character. And uh, finished Act 1. Interesting. And here's Act 2. This mechanic's just so cool actually. It's just like... And I see like a little breeze of like... The view and everything. I think the stuff that Sonic will actually do when like he's up top of like uh I mean he done this in like Sonic X and like other stuff and like he goes up on top of these like like stuff like this, which is nice. Not even too that this game was actually in development for a while actually. This was in uh since like a decade ago or more than a decade and production just ramped back up again actually so but good to seeing the rest of the game when it drops because uh this is a pretty good fan game so far. Well it is a demo first so but this is a pretty promising start actually for this game. I know most Sonic fan games don't really get finished much, like the Chaos Remake or something like that, or like, or like there's like other Sonic like fan games that never get finished, just sucking demo uh, purgatory. Like Sonic Legends, like that game is really good. I'm really hoping that game gets completed one day. Then again, fan games take a long time actually too. Like I mean, it's not just like one person. Sometimes it's one guy, but like usually like it'd be like a team of people that's doing it. You look at stuff like Spark to Electric Jester. Which is actually a Sonic Inspire game. That was all done by one guy, actually. And like, compared to like something like uh, something like maybe like um, Sonic Trouble Trouble, which like has like a bunch of people like involved with it too. I know it's like the one dude that uh, did it. Eggman, bruh. Oh my god, this is so beautiful, actually. That reminds me a lot of the Sonic OVA. Which is nice. Okay, boss fight right here. This is pretty basic, actually. I mean, all Eggman's doing is just, like, just, uh, throwing stuff out. And there we go. We defeated him. And there we go. Act 2 is complete. And here's, a uh, Grenade Zone, Act 1. If I pronounce that right. But this reminds me a bit of, like, Marble Zone and, uh, CD in a way. Also that one stage from Mega Man 8, because, like, I think I see in the background those Saturn-looking things, which was, like, the ones from Mega Man 8. This is pretty cool, actually. I really love, uh... This fan game so far. Like, it definitely feels like something you see from the Saturn days. Like, visuals, everything like that just feels so, like, amazing. Oh, that's perfect right here. Let's do that. Okay. Perfect. Dang it. F up there. Okay, so... Okay, so what, how do I go up there? I think I'm supposed to get an enemy there, but no luck there. Okay, so... Let me see if I get up to like 10 as possible. Up, never mind. We can try back again, actually. Oh, it goes to checkpoints too, actually. That's pretty nice. Tough. It's similar to like PO6 in a way, because like, in terms of like concepts, because like PO6 uses a lot of like, um, unused dialogue and stuff from 06 but here like they're taking like this like it's like prequel sonic like one but taking like a lot of the scrap comps of sonic like one like the original character design for sonic the bunny and eggman's uh old design like they're taking here and like taking full advantage of it it's pretty nice actually at least you're putting those scrap uh designs into good use okay so Ooh. 
I did not see that there, actually. Okay, there you go. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, shoot. And hey, since we're already in 2024, there's probably a good amount of Sonic fan games, you know, coming out. Like, in terms of, like, demos or, like, full releases. Looking forward to that, actually. So, stay tuned. Oh, the bunny's back again. <laughs> now, nah, that is so cool, actually. I love how he just, like, you know, he comes here and just, you know, does his thing and then boom. Gone. I wonder if he'll be a playable character laying down the line. But there you go. Act 1 complete. Alright. Act 2. Even though it says Sunrise Gate for some reason, but that's probably a glitch. I wonder if that rabbit character is going to be playable or not, actually, because, like, he was pretty prominent in the trailers, actually, so... We got to see on that, actually. It'd be nice, like, unlockable after, like, 100% the game, actually, which would be pretty cool. Okay, cool. The main feature is so cool, actually. Okay. Shoot. Okay, we're going to a ball right here. Oh. Over here. Okay, cool. Music is pretty good too, actually. I mean, I don't know if the whole music is at least like so far. I mean, I mean it's a demo, so. But like, if the whole OSC is actually in uh, available, then let me know. Actually, this is some pretty good stuff. Actually, I like the uh, Act One of Sunrise Gate music. Okay, shoot. Oh, she over here. That's nice. Let's go over here. Okay, over here. Nice. The detail, like the sprite work too, is also pretty nice too. Like, I got some really nice, like, attention to detail over here too. Like, the backgrounds are really good too. And, like, there's a lot of, like, really cool stuff here that I actually enjoy. Okay. I think I was supposed to go up there, like, doing that thing, but I guess uh, I didn't find out sooner, but it's okay. Okay. I was gonna say if like, it hits the uh, item box or not. Right here. Ooh, nice. I don't know how far we're into the demo, but like, I mean, getting to like, probably like... Ooh, seven. That's a high. I'm gonna go here, actually. Okay. Nice. Ooh. Tough. Okay. Right here. Oh, they actually doubled that. Which is nice. I guess they're getting rings in the shield tier too, so... Okay. And there we go. End of the stage. Pretty, pretty solid game. That's all of it, actually, I think. Oh, what's Eggman doing here? Huh. Nice machine, actually, though. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, this is so cool, actually. This is a boss fight? Oh, it's like kind of like a race or something like that? Okay, gotta be careful here. This is so cool, actually. Wow. Oh, so it's kind of like a boss fight, actually. Okay. This is so dang cool. Oh my god, this definitely screams like a Saturn. Like, they'll definitely like... Push that. Okay, shoot. If all if majority of the bosses are like this, sign me up, man. Like these are a very creative bosses right here. Okay, almost done them. Okay. This wow dude. I'm just like so mind blown here too. It's just so cool. I only saw the first sheriff, so it might like I'm going here pretty much blind. But like, dude, I'm so glad I saw this like first because like dude, this is actually impressive. Dude, props to everyone involved with this. Like, you all are so talented, man. And I can't wait for this project to be done with. Because, I mean, like, whenever it gets released. For, like, and there we go. 
defeated. Wow, that's just so cool. And that's the, uh, and the boss. Oh my god. But yeah, that's the fan game. So, make some description down below. Hope y'all enjoyed the video, and I'll catch y'all next time. <laughs>